Hello everyone, this is Chelsea K. Welcome back to more Let's Play Tales of Fantasia Blind. In the last part, we got the Vorpal Sword. One of the three weapons needed to defeat Daos. And I also realized I didn't talk that much in the last episode. Like, most of the episode was of me not talking because I was getting out the dungeon. That was silly. We're going to fix that. All right, now we're gonna, we got to go find the next area. And where is it? Well, I don't exactly know where it's at, but I have an idea. We want to go back to Freeland, which is, I think, over here. Right? Uh, where the hell is that? What's that? Okay, that's Alvinista. So we want to go over here. And, if I recall correctly, it is in this lovely area right here. I think. But before we do anything else, let's get our food restocked up. It's going to be a rough uh, go of it. All right, we're done. Golly. All right, little cut there. Now, before we go in there, let's uh, change up what we got going on here. We're going to uh, get rid of anything that's fire. We're going to keep Soul Edge on. Yeah, Bolt Crash should be fine. Because we're going into a fire area, people. And, uh... As you might, uh, surmise... Anything in the fire area is... Weak. It, it, it uh... Anything in the fire area is going to be immune or absorb fire enemy, uh, fire damage. And as you would also surmise, they're going to be weak to water moves or ice moves. I think Clarth is fine. Oh, right, right, right. We actually need to give him Udine back and get rid of uh, Ifrit. There we go. Now we're ready to rock and roll. Cook at the kitchen with Dinah. All right, a little bit of a cut. Now, we actually want to do something in here. Ordinarily, I don't grind up for items and whatever, but we do want to do it here. Um, let me show you there's an enemy we're looking for. It's called carry. I don't know which one the carry is. Probably that one. Yep, that's the carry. But we do have new enemies, so let's uh, take care of that. And let's use a spy lens on the Cerberus. So we want to fight those little enemies to, uh... Kless's right. Also, I probably might want to equip the Vorpal Sword on Kless now. So we'll do that after this battle. Oh, I do want to bring up Soul's Edge some more. And he's about to kill it. All 
All right, so you saw the enemies we're looking for. I'm going to run around until I get... Uh, there's an a item we're looking for called Salamander Ring. I don't think I got one there. But we're looking for an uh, item called Salamander Ring. So I'm going to run around and fight these enemies until I get four of those. So I will be right back. Hopefully this doesn't take too long because, like I said, I got somewhere I got to be. Or I can just not cut because we got a new enemy. A Yacho. Another one of those annoying ass enemies that suck your TP. Oh, and they paralyze you. So I might want to equip a uh, body armor or whatever the hell it's called. I love how she says, Recover! Damn, look at that damage! Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. Let me equip the Vorpal Sword on Kles, and let me give him a body suit. I don't need the Aquamantle anymore. Uh, Vorpal. Yeah, here it is. Lowers his, what you call it, a little bit, but that's fine with me. And let's get rid of the Aquamantle and give him the body amulet. Yeah. So long as one of us is not paralyzed, we should be fine. Also, I'm going to change the formation. I don't like uh, those two being over there, but I'm going to put them back, like, in the middle area. There we go. And, yeah, uh... Uh, Arch and Clarth can stay in the same area. Okay. So I'm gonna cut until I, uh, at, until after I get my, uh, four Salamander Swings, or I just so happen to see a new enemy. So be right back. Okay. No, we're not leaving yet. We got D Sword. Now I don't know if that's supposed to be Dark Sword or Dead Sword or what. Okay, can we possibly cut until we get our salamander rings? Or are we going to keep seeing new enemies? Oh, or are we getting a new enemy? A djinn. On second thought, I am 
not going to do this. Yeah, it, it's taking entirely too long for me to fi even get one of those enemies. So, yeah, we're just going to continue with the dungeon and hope for the best. And, yeah, we're still doing the blind with help thing, unfortunately. There's very little I can uh, do about it. And... Honestly, though, I would have... Uh, done it but I have to I have to get done recording here like if I didn't have anywhere to be here shortly I would definitely be like yeah let's let's fucking do this shit but uh I I have places to be so now we're doing blind with help or blind sorta all right, so Oh, sure. Now we get this enemy again. All right, I'll leave this battle in. We cut all the other battles out pretty much. Hopefully we get a Salamander Ring. And the reason why I'm trying to get a Salamander Ring will become apparent very soon. If I get it, I'll show you why I'm doing it. There we go, one Salamander's Ring. Alright, so, with the Salamander's Ring, we want to convert it into an entirely different ring. So, in order to convert it, we go to a room bottle here. Go all the way down to our salamander ring. And it turns into a nips ring. A ring with a water so runners the bear immune to heat. Alright. Cool. I'm going to give that to Kles. Ooh. You see, I want to give it to Kles, but at the same time, I don't. I'm not going to give it to Kles. I lied. But we are going to give it to Mint. Give her the Nymph's Ring? Yeah. I, 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 I gotta leave what he has on. Yeah, I, I have to do that. All right, come here. It's a sculpture of Odin. All right, so there's going to be some cutting that's miscellaneous. I don't know why I was supposed to go in there. I guess it, it's for something later. Come over here, throw the switch, pull the lever. That did something or another. I don't know what. All right. All right. Uh, <coughs> you... And the reason why we want to do this is because, well, when we get to rooms with lava, it will take our HP unless we have the uh, Nymph's Ring. And there's just no way around it unless you get that uh, nymph's ring. But anyways, let's come down here, get a question mark book, and a moon crystal. We're going to actually use the uh, item on that. We're going to transform that book into something else. And what does that turn into? The Seventh Sun. And the Seventh Sun increases his ac his run and lowers his accuracy. But that's okay. I'm not worried about it. I might actually need to run. So we might want as much run as we possibly can. All right. 
Come over here. We'll flip another switch. Yep. Pull the lever. All right. All right, let's go this way first. I'm also very close to... Ooh, nice! That last battle gave us two salamander rings, which that's all I, I, that's all I actually really need. Because I am not going to equip that on Clarth because somebody needs to be... on uh, class because somebody needs to be immune to... Someone needs to be immune to, uh... Paralysis, because otherwise we've had some game overs like that. So, let's equip that on Arch. As much as I don't want to get rid of her mental ring, we are going to get rid of it. And as much as I don't want to get rid of his mental ring, we are going to get rid of that as well. But, yeah, nothing is negotiable with, uh, Kles. Someone needs to survive, and I am not kicking a game over because everybody gets paralyzed. So now I want to use some um, orange gummies on Kles because he is basically done with magic. And that should be fine. Alright, let's keep going. I think I want to go this way. Alright. Let's go this way first. But, yeah. Only one that's going to be taking damage here is going to be uh, Kles. Which, I'm okay with that. It doesn't look like it takes too, too much damage. Hold up a sec. Sorry about that cut, yo. All right, let's see here. What am I looking for? <sighs> Snapchat's blowing up. So let's go to this room first. Yeah, it's not taking too much HP. Ah, we got the four salamander ring, but we're not going to equip it. Also, I wish I would have left that battle in because, y'all, I had a really amazing, like, kill against, I think, the carry in the air with my uh, soul edge. But, uh, it doesn't look like it's taking too much HP from me, so I'm not going to stress it. Alright, let's go here first. Get some mixed gummies. All right. And then... Game! Annoying ass thing. All right, where are we at now? All right, go north twice. Then go left. Oh! I did not know it had the ability to kill you! Yeah, this battle, I'll, st I'll keep this battle in. I did not know that you could get a game over, you could get death. Your character could die... ...off screen. Well, that's insane. So there you go! Apparently, if you don't have it, you can get game over! The more you know! Anywho... As we were... All right, so we go down this way. What did it say? 
this way I want to go? Get a life bottle? Well, isn't that nice? I'm actually going to use some mixed gummies. Not that I need to. But these enemies are dropping mixed gummies and I'm finding them. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and do that. And let's give this shield ring to Clarth. Because this is the last one that needs it. I guess I should let uh, Clarth... Maybe I'll let Clarth die. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm going to let Clarth die. Oh, hey, you know what? We're going to leave that battle in. Mastered Soul Edge. Get a bow. Question mark bow. Excellent. Now, as I was saying, I'm going to kill off Kless. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to use a Holy Bottle. No, I don't want a Holy Rune. I want a Holy... Where the hell's my Holy Bottle? Use a Holy Bottle. And we're just going to sit in this room with lava that it should be over here, actually. And we're just gonna watch Kles die. Alright, and now we're gonna use a life bottle on him. See how ridiculous I am to, just to get a freaking treasure chest? I think one of the reasons why we uh, maxed out the Witcher Call It like we did was because there is another spell that requires it later that's going to be really good for the Coliseum. Don't quote me though. Anyways, we want to go down this way now. And let's take the stairs. Alright, go this way and then go this way get some veal hey I just used the holy bottle so perfect all right and why are we going this way well we're going this way for one reason and one reason only to book of spells to get the mighty explode spell Which is not so mighty for us here. Let's turn that off of her. Alright, let's go. Let's get back to the main area. I'm going to show you guys how to get out. One thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back to... Freeland and I'm going to heal as I was saying I'm going to go back and I'm going to heal and I'm going to uh, restock up some items of Freeland I was going to cut it after I got the explosion spell but then I'm like ah, you guys might not remember how to get out of here so let me show that to you and then we will uh, go for that I'm actually debating I should probably use a holy bottle I'm going to use a holy bottle I mean it's not really going to make too much difference maybe but honestly, I'm, I'm tired of running into battles. 
I wish it just like cut the battles out entirely, but it does not. I think it's this way. And then no, it's this way. See, even I'm getting lost. Imagine what would have happened if y'all tried doing this. Okay, I think we're back now. But will we be able to get the final game? Will we be able to get the, uh, well, I don't know if it's the final weapon, but will we be able to get the sword that we need to fight Daos? Find out next time on Let's Play Tales of Fantasia Blind. This is Joseph K. signing out. Y'all have a great day and keep it real. Later.